Hello, and welcome to another ScrapeOps video. Today, we'll be going over how to send post requests using Node.js Axios. These requests are often used to upload a file or submit a completed web form, but they also serve a purpose in web scraping. Everything we'll be covering in this video can be found in this article. Node.js Axios, how to send post requests. I'll put the link in the description. Specifically, I'll be going over what a post request is and how it's used in web scraping, as well as the most common ways of sending post requests, which are as JSON data and as form data. Let's get right into it. The post request method asks that a web server accept the data enclosed in the body of the request message, usually for storing it. When web scraping, we may need to send some information to the website before receiving the data we want. This could be providing a login in order to access the page we want or interacting with the page itself, like setting location and job type filters on LinkedIn. We usually provide this information in one of two ways, as JSON or form data. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation and is a lightweight format for storing and transporting data. It's most often used when sending data from a server to a web page. Here's an example of some data formatted with JSON. This is information usually required to sign up for a website, like name, email, username, and password, all in key value pairs. Form data is information provided by the user by interacting with an element in an HTML form, like a text input box, a button, or a checkbox. Here's an example of what form data would look like. We'll be able to format our code so we can input our information in a simpler way, though, so don't worry. Let's go through an example of each. A common scenario for using post requests is to send JSON data to an API endpoint. Doing so is pretty simple. Let's start with creating a request that will send a post request to the URL that we pass through, along with our data and options, and then either log the response or the error should any come up. Let's come up here and define the URL. We'll set it to this website right here that's designed to return the information passed in the post request so that we can see what we're passing and where. Next, let's set the actual data we want to pass. Let's add the JSON formatted data we saw earlier. Finally, we'll set our content type in our headers to this so that the website knows that our data is in JSON formatting. Now let's run it and see what happens. As you can see, the website acknowledged that it received JSON formatted data. Another common use case for post requests is to send form data to an endpoint, like filling out a Google form. In order to do that, we need to make some changes to our code. Namely, we're going to change our data parameter to form so that we don't have to type out our data like this. And then we're going to change our content type to let the website know that our data is URL encoded. Let's run it again and see what happens. And as you can see, the website again received the data successfully, but this time as form data. And there you have it, how to send post requests using Node.js Axios. If you'd like to learn more about web scraping, be sure to check out the ScrapeOps web scraping playbook. Or you can check out one of our more in-depth guides, like how to scrape the web without getting blocked, and the ethics of web scraping. The links to all that will be in the description. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please hit that like button and go ahead and comment which topics you'd like for us to cover next and be sure to subscribe for more guides on all things web scraping. See you next time.